You know, every pool table that you play on is just a little bit different. Whether you're on a 7-foot, 8-foot, or 9-foot table, when you're playing in the league, you're going to have to make some adjustments when you start shooting a cue ball around the table. For an example here, I'm going to show you a way of actually figuring out what the personality of the table is. If you go down this first rail that you're going to hit, you're coming down from that corner up there. There's a diamond, there's another diamond, there's an, and there's a third diamond from that end. And if I shoot the cue ball into that third diamond and just aim on the left side of the cue ball with about a tip of left English, and I hit the ball, you can watch what it does when it goes around the table and comes down toward this corner pocket. Now you notice the ball came in and it came in above the ball. This is what we call a short angle table. Now, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the table, but because of humidity and other things we've covered in some of our other segments, it affects the table. I'm going to do that one more time so you can kind of watch what happens here. Hit it again, try to hit it the same way, and you watch how the cue ball comes in above the ball like this. So this is actually coming in short of the ball. This is called a short angle table. I'm now going to purposely make it look like a long angle table. So watch what it does this time. I hit it like this, the ball comes up and it comes way over on this side. This would be called a long angle table where if you were to extend this out and the table were longer it would hit a ball back here somewhere. So this is called a long angle table. Somewhere between the long and the short angle there's a perfect place to hit this to make that ball in the corner pocket. So what you have to do when you're reading the personality of a pool table, you have to literally move up and down the rail starting at the third diamond first until you get to the point where you can actually make the ball. This will then tell you your three cushion shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move down the rail a little bit about a half a diamond and I'm going to hit it on the left side and we're going to see what happens this time. So I hit it like this, the ball comes down, comes over, and this time it comes down like this and just barely grazes a five. So what I did is I made an adjustment for the personality of the table here. There's one other way you can read the personality of a table when you're only going one cushion. This time we'll shoot it down to the center rail up there and there are of course several different points you can aim at. We're going to aim right for the middle of this rail up here, right for the middle of that rail. And if you aim right for the middle of that, of that rail up there and hit the cue ball in the center, just roll the ball. The cue ball should come down like this, come down to this end of the table, and bingo, make the ball. Now, most pool tables are going to play a little bit short in human conditions. If it's damp, you're going to have a little bit of a short angle where it comes in above a ball. And on a shot like this, the ball will go up and come back. And instead of hitting the ball, it will come over on this side slightly. So you must learn the personality of your table before you actually start playing the game of pool. If you get a chance before your match, hit a couple balls if that's allowed and find out the personality. So when you're in the middle of that game, you can make that adjustment for the personality of the table according to Dr. Q. You don't have to play like a pro to enjoy the game I love. If you've ever played in a friend's basement, you can compete in an APA league. In the APA, everyone can play and anyone can win. So if you're looking for a fun night out with your friends and family, join an APA Pool League today. Have fun, meet people, play pool. Visit PoolPlayers.com today.